And finally, we look at the most powerful of the Unix tools, the Perl programming language. Perl is a somewhat curious tool because on the one hand, it can be used as an extremely powerful uh, command line tool. Uh, it can in fact be used almost as a one-to-one -one, uh, drop-in replacement uh, for set, for example. On the other hand, it's actually a full-featured programming language. It's a very high-level programming language for scripting applications, so it's interpreted, not compiled. It's an extremely expressive language. It supports multiple uh, programming paradigms, so you can use Perl in functional programming styles, in object-oriented programming styles, and combination of these. Um, it's, a, it's a portable language. It has particular strength in parsing of data. It has a very powerful regular expression syntax built into the core of the language syntax. It has a very powerful uh, binary data parsing and data conversion facilities built into the core of the language. Um, the name Perl is sometimes uh, rumored to have come from the acronym uh, Practical Extraction and Reporting Language, and that is uh, certainly an area the, the language particularly excels in uh, reading uh, plain text uh, files of arbitrary file formats, parsing them, extracting data by matching bits of the files with regular expressions and then uh, accumulating the data in data structures, in lists, in hash tables, and then outputting them in whatever form is required. Um, so it shares being a scripting language with a high-level syntax with garbage collected memory management with arbitrary size strings, arrays, hash tables, all of which can be easily nested with each other, uh, <clears throat> with a number of other programming languages that are commonly used for scripting purposes, which also have dynamic data types and these high-level data types such as uh, Python, Tickle, Ruby. And you may wonder why learn uh, Perl if, for example, you already know, for example, Python in particular. Um, the, to be honest, uh, Perl is a somewhat um, controversial language. You will encounter in your future professional life people uh, where if you mention to them that you're using Perl, they will uh, lift their nose a bit and say this is some uh, unreadable write-only hacker language that is not suited for large-scale uh, software development and so on. Um, on the other hand, you may find that because it has this very dense, compact, highly expressive uh, syntax, it is an extremely efficient and versatile tool that if you are in a speed programming contest uh, with a Python programmer, you are very likely to finish uh, the job in a fraction of the time because the Python programmer first will have to start uh, defining a couple of class files and uh, will be locked into this object-oriented syntax, whereas in, in Perl you're not. You can, in a single line, start with matching regular expressions and so on. So <clears throat> um, I I'm a great fan of Perl. Um, it plays a significant role in many environments. For example, the system administrators of our department have used uh, Perl for more than 30 years. It basically holds together our entire IT infrastructure. And you will in industry dis encounter many uh, projects, uh, long-running projects, where Perl is an integral part of the uh, of the infrastructure and you will very likely have to learn it at some point. Um, as I said, it is sort of whenever you reach the limits of what a shell script that can do, Perl is one option available where you can move to, which has a lot of commonality in facilities in, in syntax. Uh, it's kind of an almost feature complete replacement of in particular set, but also an, an older scripting language called Orc that I explicitly haven't covered in this course because I think it's largely replaced by, uh, by Perl. Um, one of the 
particular common application areas of Perl uh, were early dynamic HTML applications where web pages are not produced by delivering a static HTML file, but are calculated on demand, for example, via a uh, interface called CGI, Common Gateway Interface, that allows a web server to call a program and then the standard output of the program is handed back to the web browser to generate a page. And some very major websites, Amazon being perhaps one of the most common one, were basically built in Perl as the language that generates those web pages. Perl is also a very mature language. It has been around uh, since the late 1980s. It's only a couple of years uh, older than uh, Python. Uh, Perl has inspired a couple of other languages. Uh, so the PHP language that is also used to derive many web pages has a lot of syntactic commonalities uh, with Perl. Uh, the Ruby language is basically a language that was inspired quite a lot uh, by Perl, but tried to do a couple of things better than Perl. Um, so even if you're not using uh, Perl directly, it's uh, useful to be familiar with its place in the history of uh, scripting languages. And scripting language here means that the design of the language is really optimized for ease of use and is not optimized for performance. So similar to Python and Ruby, uh, Perl scripts will often be about an order of magnitude slower than if you tried to solve the same problem in, for example, the C programming language. On the other hand, uh, you will probably be able to solve the problem by coding the script about an order of magnitude faster than it would have taken you in a low-level programming language such as C. Perl also comes with a very comprehensive set of standard libraries, so things like database interfaces or uh, web server uh, frameworks or uh, interface um, libraries for um, accessing many types of file formats or network services or so are all readily available. Uh, there is a website called CPAN, the Comprehensive Perl Archive Network, and a package manager that makes it easy to install Perl libraries that aren't part of the standard Perl distribution. Perl is also included in pretty much every uh, Unix distribution. Um, it used to be included in uh, macOS as well, but more recently Apple has announced that they're going to take it out of uh, the uh, macOS distribution, but it's easily reinstalled via third-party uh, package manager such as Homebrew. Um, 